Guys, this is Duct Tape Craft, and I am going to show you how to make this Lego tripod out of Lego creationary pieces. Okay, so I'm showing you how to make a tripod for your iPhone 4 or iPhone 5 or iPod 5, whatever whatever you have. So this will work for any of them. I will show you how to do it. So first, you want to get all the 2x4 bricks in the Lego Creationary um, board. It's a Lego game. Right here, here's the little instruction booklet. It's about $30 is what, when I got it. So, yeah, and this actually really works. So what you want to do is you want to get all colors, and there should be four of each color, like that. So basically you just put them together, like that. So there should be four of yellow, and then let's do four of blue. There's blue so now we have two of these now you just want to do that with all of these colors so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and I put together all of these pieces and I should have eight little different colors so one two three four five six seven eight so yeah I should have eight of these and basically you want to put four of these together so doesn't matter what colors I just do these colors, so here's four of them right there, and then you put these ones together, and there's four of them right here. So now you have two little kind of long bricks. So yeah, that's the first part. Okay, so now that you're done with these, you want to get all, in every color, you want to get all of the two by two bricks, and all of the... Uh, one by two bricks so you, of each color. Okay, so you just want to get all of those, and one of the colors, which is um, the tan color, will only have two of these. Um, two of these, so then you're just going to have to use uh, these things. Just put them on top. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So every color except for tan has four of these, and two of these okay okay so basically you want to take every color so first I'll start with red you want to put the two by twos together like this and then you want to grab the one by twos and put them on top like this and then like that and that so now I have a pillar like this basically you're doing the same thing like here but not really I don't know See, there's four different bricks. You just want to do four, like, four kind of layers for each color. And then I'll do, let's do gray right now. Two, two by fours together. I mean, two by twos. And then the one by twos on top. Okay, so now we have two of these. And now I'll show you what I mean by the tan. So I put the two tans together. And then I put these ones on. But then there's no more, if you look in the actual creationary box, there is no more uh, little pieces like that. So you just want to grab these like that, and you just put them on. works the exact same way. So, yeah. And they're the exact same size. So that's what you want to do with all of these pieces, and I will get back to you as soon as I'm done doing that. Okay, so now I'm done and I finished all of these bricks. And now you basically want to put them together just like these ones you did. And now you don't have to do this, but I just like to. I put them in the in the same color pattern as these. So it would be tan, white, brown, gray. So now they kind of match. So I don't know, you don't have to do that. I don't know, it just makes it kind of more organized looking. So I'll do that with this one too. Okay, um. <clears throat> so now you have two of these now. So you just set those aside and now we're going to do something with these here. 
Okay, so basically the next pieces you will need, you will need two, um, two by sixes plates of any color you want, it does not matter. So just two of those, then you're going to need four of the two by four plates, and it doesn't matter the color of those either. Then you're going to need four um, two by two plates. So what you want to do is you want to take the two by six and on the bottom of one of these, you just put it on like that. So it's like that. And then you take any two by two and put it on top like that. And then you do it on this side also. And then you take a four by four, or I mean a two by four, and it doesn't matter. And then you just put it on the bottom like that. And then right here too. So that's just for helping it stand like wit better. So you just do that with this one too. I'll do it really quick. So you just put these ones right there and then this one right there. And that like that. So now you have to stand like that. Okay, now what you want to do with these two pieces, you just hook them or you connect them to the top of this long piece right here. So now you have one long piece and you just do that with this one too. Okay. So now you have those. And now let's move that aside and I will show you the next step. Okay, so here's the next pieces you will need. You will need this one big plate. This is like the biggest plate they have in the box. So it's not hard to find. And then you're gonna need four two by sixes of any color, just like that. Okay, and then you're going to need this um, 4x4 brown plate. It is also in the, um, yeah, if you organize it, it's in the brown section. Then you're going to need two 1x4 bricks, and then you're going to need four 1x4 plates. And then here's some, uh, like, the, the special pieces. They bend, like, or they turn like that. So you're going to need those two of those and then these two slanted pieces. And then a 2 by 4 and then this piece that has two sides. Okay, so now let me show you how to make it. Okay. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to take two 2 by 6s and then one 2 by 4 and you place it just like that on one and then you take the other one and hook it on like that. So now you have that. And then what you want to do is you want to move that away, get this green plate, and you want to hook these on, make sure they're straight up, these bendable pieces, and it's hard to, okay. On the bottom you can see the back is facing this way, so that way it turns like that. It should turn like that. Okay, so that's that step. Back to this, you need to get this piece and you hook it on right here. And then you get two 1x4s and just hook them on like that. This is just going to help it from falling forward, kind of. So, yeah. There's that. And then with this, you take two of these. Uh, yeah, two of these. And then you put them right there on here. Okay. And then if you have an iPhone 4, um, you're going to need to put these on because it's, it's thick. But if you have like an iPod 5 or something like that, you don't need to. So just hook those on. And you put this brown plate right on top so that'll hold it. Uh, the... Uh, iPod or whatever you're using in so like like that as you can see it looks kind of dumb right now but I'll show you what I mean now you want to bend these up like that so that now you can take this and place it like this let me see if I can show this place it right on top like that hopefully you can see and if it falls off like that, you can just put it back on. Okay, so now it should bend 
like that. Okay, so now the very last step is you take this, or these 2x6s, and you put it on like that. It's only got one stud, or two studs right there. And you do the same with the other. And then you put these on right here. And boom, you have the stand for the iPod. It fits right there, and it will not fall either side. And I will show you how to connect this to the other thing. So now you can see they are standing up. You just want to place them down like this. Okay. And then all you have to do is just connect right here and right here to the top like that. So just hook this one on right here. And then hook this one on. So now you should see you have a tripod slash kind of stand. So you can just put your iPod in there and you can adjust it however you want. Like bend it like that way. Like that. So if you're like recording a video, you can bend it da straight down to where you can look at look down. So yeah, that is how you make a tripod out of Lego Creationary, the Lego pieces from this game. Very cool little thing. It's actually pretty sturdy for how it looks right now. It looks kind of unsturdy, but it's actually very sturdy. So as long as you don't like like bump it super hard, it won't fall. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you out if you were looking to make this or to make a tripod out of Legos or something like that if you don't have a tripod. So yeah, this has been real fun making this. And I hope you like, comment, and rate, and subscribe if you would like. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.